When San Diego's street vending ordinance took effect in June, many vendors found a new place to set up shop. Well, we got a lot more vendors here because all the people who were inland came here. And all the other beaches had the same thing happen. Denny Knox is president of the Ocean Beach Main Street Association. And I think these, a lot of the vendors were, you know, they took advantage of an opportunity where no, there was no oversight. They didn't have any rules. And so they said, well, for as long as it lasts, we'll do this. But now there will be oversight in beach communities, starting with a few weeks of educational outreach to vendors. After that, they could face citations, just like the ones that are already being handed out to vendors in Balboa Park and the gas lamp quarter. And they told us we can't vend anymore, even like, like before summer and after summer. Jimmy is one of the street vendors still running his business in Ocean Beach. He didn't want to use his last name, but says he doesn't see the ordinance as a fair balance. He has a street vending permit, but under the law, he'll have to move out of the high traffic beachfront spot he's in right now. He says he's frustrated that there's nowhere else in the city where he can legally sell and make enough profit. I want to be in my own boss or my own business one day. Hopefully they change, hopefully like they change their mind to make us a stay here or bring like some kind of new role. Only like two days a week at least they can be here. There was a recommendation by the city to designate entrepreneurship zones for the vendors. Jimmy says he's still waiting to hear more about that. The city is still accepting applications for permits. In the meantime, park rangers will start citing coastal vendors on February 1st. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.